Hi, I'm Nathan Oakley and in a couple of recent videos we've been talking to a good buddy, really good guy called Charles. A liar, disingenuous, but nonetheless a really, really good guy. Now this good guy has put out a little video to challenge people to come up with an estimate of what they think the height of water at St Bees is. Now it would seem that Anthony's caught him off guard because he slipped in a couple of screenshots from Anthony's debunking video, the one where he measures the height above sea level. Now of course I put a link to that particular video in Charles's video and it would seem that Charles has just decided to remove my comment. So censoring the truth, censoring the measurements and continuing to plough on, vlogging a dead horse, asking for estimations. Very disappointed Charles. So for those of you who would prefer that the debunking video Charles took a couple of screen caps from and didn't actually link to would like to read my comment and see the link to the video I will put a further link to the debunking of Charles complete nonsense in a link below this video. I'd also like to point out again for about the tenth time that there is a challenge in place for Charles to prove the presuppositional value used in the mathematics he used when demonstrating what globe heads could do to prove the globe. Now that would be getting the eye height right according to Charles. Well first and foremost Charles got the eye height completely and totally wrong, claiming nine feet when it was actually a foot as stated. So Charles, we've got your nonsense out of the way and there is no need for anybody to estimate anything going forward. It's been measured my friend. So unless you're prepared to get down to the beach and provide a better actual measurement, we're not interested in any estimations going forward. What I'm interested in, and I've pointed out on multiple comments, probably all been censored from view by you, Charles, is that I'm looking for proof of R, the bit that comes before this eye height nonsense that you've got wrong. So, Charles, to summarise, good guy you are, please can you provide proof of your presuppositional mathematics? That would be proof of Earth being a sphere. That would require an R value, radius, and I'd like you to prove that for the natural world. I look forward to your scientific evidence of the natural world, Charles. I'll say it again, this is about the tenth time I've asked for this, and you have completely ignored it, ploughing on with this dead horse that you've decided to flog. So, one last time, I'd like proof of R. Look forward to it, Charles. Thanks a million. Great guy, great guy. Having laid down my challenge around 10 times for Charles, I'm absolutely certain by now that he knows exactly what I'm asking for. Proof of R. Feel free to cut the link to the video debunking Charles Complete Nonsense. That would be an estimation challenge when there's a measurement already in place. So cut that link, paste it in Charles's most recent video. It only came out in the last hour, just so everybody is fully aware that Charles is flogging a dead horse and his nonsense requiring estimations is totally and utterly redundant. I've been Nathan Oakley and I'll see you all in the next video.